everybody. So in this video, we are going to do a very important theorem that is called the alternate segment theorem. So let's start with it. So the statement is for any circle, the angle formed between the tangent and the chord through the point of contact of the tangent is equal to the angle formed by the chord in the alternate segment. So the statement is a bit uh, complex, but let me explain this thing for you. It means if I've got a circle like this, and there is a tangent to this circle at this point suppose. Suppose this point is P. Now suppose I'm making a triangle like this, right? So basically as per the alternate segment theorem, this angle will be equal to this angle and then this angle will be equal to this angle. That is the alternate segment theorem. Using one more figure I can explain suppose if you are confused. I've got a circle over here and then suppose at this point I'm making a tangent and using this point suppose I'm making a triangle like this, just an example. So this angle so formed is equal to this angle and this angle so formed is equal to this angle. That is the alternate segment theorem. Let's prove it. The proof is pretty easy. So basically I've got a circle over here and then I'm taking a tangent at a point over here. Using this point, I'm making a triangle, right? So basically we have to prove that this angle so formed is equal to this angle, right? For that, we have to do construction. So the construction is from the center of the circle, join this point. Suppose this point is P. And then you have to join this as well. Now basically, uh, you can name the triangle as PQR. Suppose this angle is X. Suppose this is S, right? Now you see you have studied this property that tangent to a circle is perpendicular to the radius through the point of contact. So basically angle OPS over here, that is equal to 90 degrees, correct? This angle is 90 degrees. So from here angle RPS that is equal to 90 minus X, that is 90 minus X. Angle RPS is equal to 90 minus X, correct? Now the radii of a same circle, they are equal. So basically over here you can see OP and OR will be equal. So this will also be X. Angles opposite to equal sides of a triangle are equal. So if in the triangle, POR, you use the angle sum property, you will see that angle POR, that is nothing but equal to 180 minus 2x, using the angle sum property in this triangle, 180 minus 2x. So basically we have got this angle to be 180 minus 2x. Now you have studied one property, that the angle subtended by an arc of a circle at the center is twice the angle subtended by it at any point on the remaining part of the circle. It means if you see the arc PR, that is making this angle at the center, angle POR. And the same arc over here is making this angle at a point on the remaining part of the circle. So basically you can say that angle POR is two times of angle PQR or angle Q in short you can write. So basically angle POR is 180 minus 2x, we have proved it right now that is two times of Q. So from here, angle Q will be equal to 180 minus 2X divided by two. You can separate it out like this. It is 180 upon two minus 2X upon two. So basically this will get canceled out. So you will get this to be equal to 90 minus X as well. So what does it mean? That angle Q is 90 minus X and the angle this over here, angle RPS is also equal to 90 minus X. So we have proved this, that this angle is equal to this angle. That is the alternate segment theorem. In the same manner, you can prove that this angle is equal to this angle, alternate segment theorem. So I hope the proof of this theorem is clear to you. So let us do a question on the basis of the alternate segment theorem. So basically over here, this situation is given 
and it's also mentioned that O is the center of the circle, you have to find the angle theta. You have to find the angle theta over here. Right. So basically, uh, if this is the center of the circle, so this becomes a diameter and hence angle BAC is an angle in the semicircle. Angle BAC is an angle in the semicircle. So we can say that angle BAC will be equal to 90 degree. You have studied this property. So angle BAC is equal to 90 degree. Angle in a semicircle is a right angle. Now basically over here, if you see the triangle ABC, you can use the angle sum property of triangles and then you can say angle B will be equal to 180 minus 90 plus 17. That is 90 plus 17 which is equal to 180 minus 97, 180 minus 97 degrees and that is equal to 83 degrees. This is 83 degrees. Now basically we have studied the angle alternate segment theorem in the previous slide. So you can say over here that theta is equal to angle B. That is the alternate segment theorem. Using the alternate segment theorem, you can say theta over here is angle B and that is equal to 83 degrees. I hope this question is clear to everybody watching this video. So that's all we needed to do in Alternate Segment Theorem on the Infinity Learn Class 9 and 10 YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.